Welcome to a Farming Simulator 19 new mod map map tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. So where are we today on this first look map tour? We're on Starowitz, I think it might be pronounced. It's a Polish map. This is a new one to console. Uh, this is by Zylak04 and Venturio. Um, this is another fairly small one, a bit like Lepinki, which is not surprising because Zylak04 did Lepinki. There are some similarities, but a lot of differences. Um, this is another one. There's too many maps. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Um, before I begin, a quick update on RDC. Um, RDC FS19, I did a first look map tour on that that came out It's kind of last night, yesterday. Depends when you're watching this video. Um, it has been removed from the console mod hub. Giants have said that they're aware of a few issues and it's not quite compatible with update 1.3 that we had recently. They are working on it and it will be compatible with update 1.4. So when 1.4 gets released as an update for Farming Simulator, um, that map will be put back into the mod hub because it will then be compatible, apparently. Um, if you haven't seen it, have a look because it's what you can do on that map is incredible. Truly incredible. Anyway, this map. Um, it's a fairly small map. Looking at the bottom left hand corner, it doesn't look that way, but those fields are quite small. So let's have a look. That's the map. If I zoom out, that's a kind of standard size. So if we zoom in, you can see already, fairly small map. Now I'm on new farmer mode. On new farmer, you have used 442 of 1299 slots. That's not too bad already. If you come onto this on farm manager mode, you've only used 286 out of 1299. So it gives you a fair bit of scope to do stuff. Uh, as far as what do we start with on new farmer, we've got our kind of main farm here. We've got field 58, 68, 31, 16, 15, all fairly small fields. And then we've got a secondary farm over here with field 42, 47 and 46. Um, you've got your horses and sheep are over on this one we've got a secondary farmhouse over there as well and a second silo and over here we've got our pigs we've got our chickens we've got our cows and a silo as well and obviously our main farmhouse the biogas plant does need to be purchased however it's only seventy-three thousand, not too expensive there's a very unusual bit that I noticed. There's lots of forestry. These patches here are all bits of forest and there's a real nice mixture between pine and fir and a few other ones. Um, but you've got this main kind of forest over here for 367,000, which isn't too bad. But you can buy the sawmill. Now that's 441,000, but if you buy that, you get all of these bits, the shop. This is actually oddly, um, let's come off that a second that is a river now i think that should be blue because i thought it was some kind of like rugged not mountainous bit but raised hill that's actually a river uh, that runs down into this kind of big lake so that i think that's probably should be blue but anyway that being said field prices are not too bad at all um those two combined 88 grand that one there 63 grand uh what have we got there Forty-seven thousand. 65,000 and what I like about these maps or these maps the other one by Zylak Lepinki and this one you've got a lot of scope for blending fields together so you've got lots of small fields and you can really as a kind of new farmer starting out you can build up gradually buying bits of land um, and then blend them together give yourself some much bigger I think that one's 21,000 so you can gradually expand I like that it's a nice touch um, as far as sell points go, we've got two barns, dairy station, grain elevator east, selling station two, and spinnery. We have also got... Oh, I wonder then. Can you not sell at the sawmill unless you own it? Because the sawmill's not showing up on there. Oops. Potentially. Right, okay, well. Silos, we've got two of them. And we do start on new farm with crops in them. 200,000 litre capacity we have. Crop, crop prices are pretty average. I'm I'm on normal setting, so um, you know, not too bad at all. 
Contracts are available. I always forget that bit. There are contracts available. So the main farm. We come down the steps and we are facing east. That's north, west and south. Uh, that's the main farmhouse. And this is what I mean. It, it's got a familiarity like the pinky, but a lot of things are different. Um, so there you go. Go and click on that. I'm not tired at the moment. This is the first silo, and again, really nice feature on this. So we've got a bit of machinery in here, and that's kind of your silo. That's where you collect your crops from, and this takes all your standard crops, doesn't do potatoes and forage or anything like that. Um, but here's the, I think, the cool thing. This is where you tip into it. So this is where you put into your silo. So you come through and you tip, kind of left side tip or right side tip, whichever way you come in. And it kind of goes up that pipe, over the wall, and gets stored next door. Then when you want it, you come and get out of there. Nice touch. Um, a few bits of machinery. We'll have a look at what we start with. Cow barn just behind us here. I think that's where you collect your milk from. That's a tricky one. Um, now, as far as the animal pens go, we've got a lot of... Um, kind of specialised modded bits on this one. Um, you've got feed trough and I think these are both feed troughs actually in the middle I drove up and tested this you can put straw in here so for your bedding that will work in here come out the other side now interestingly when you buy your cows which you'll do from this point here they come into this field across the road or the, the track which I think that's a really nice feature that you kind of got that thing that you bring them out of the barn or the milking parlor whatever you want to call it and they go into the field for the day. That does open and close, and there's another entrance just over there. Um, yeah, this is another one I'm, I'm really like. I'm smiling. I, just, I think it's a really, really cool map. Um, slurry comes out here, and then you've got this. Now, I don't know if you have to muck out yourself, possibly, but I think this is going to be a kind of bunker for putting your manure in out of the cow pen. So, while we're on that subject, uh, we'll go into garage. We start with the T5. We've got Fiat 1300, the Bison, uh, small fortress trailer, header for the Bison, small plough, small cultivator, small cedar. Um, we've got herbicide, fertilizer, sprayer, weight. Now, this is where we get onto the interesting ones. We have got a modded cow pasture, and a lot of map makers are doing this now. They're adding in their own mods within the map that you can use. Um, so you've got the cow pasture, pig enclosure sheep pasture horse paddock now these aren't big chicken coop which is a different one you've got the two different grain silos um you've got a bunker silo small which is like tires on the side a bit like the pinky and then we've got a garage now that's interesting i haven't found a workshop i think i think these are just actually like shed type garages but then we move on and we've got fences straw bales loads of different fence systems um, we've got the main farmhouse and then the smaller farmhouse. These are all mods within the game. Um, and you own all of these at the start. Now, if I go across to here, these are all available. So if you want to place something somewhere else, the two farmhouses are just there. Um, sheds are at the end here. So we've got shed, garage, garage. Silos. If we come across we've got the grain silo bunker silo small and the other grain silo these are both a hundred thousand liters and we'll take your main crop types and but they are slightly different uh, we have got under the animal pens now this is where you need to be a little bit wary we've got the pig enclosure the horse paddock and the sheep pasture now the cow one isn't on there so be careful because if you come onto this on farm manager mode, all you start with is the cow pasture, nothing else. You don't start with any of these buildings here. You don't start with the pig enclosure. You don't start with the farmhouse. All of this is just a blank space, all of this. But you do start with this, the cow shed. If you sell it, which you can do, you can't replace this particular cow shed. Um, because it's not available um, but anyway that's just that's just like a small a small word of warning um, so yeah more shed space over here I definitely haven't come across a workshop 
but here's your small bunker silo tires at the side and you put them in here if we just click on that there we go fill level zero compacting zero so that's your bunker silo we've got a chicken coop just here so that's your feed trough that's where you buy them from they wander around the yard quite happily and that's where your egg boxes are going to come from where the water goes for those i'm not sure actually not do now i've got to be careful here because i'm don't want to get myself confused with um oh they don't do they just wheat or barley yeah because on um rdc every animal requires everything straw and water and all sorts anyway so coming down through the yard we now come to the pig enclosure now like i say all these fences here if you start on farm manager none of these fences are here none of them at all um so it's interesting this just becomes a big open blank canvas for you to do whatever you want uh water trough for the pigs is just there feed trough is inside the building now where did i find there's your feed trough as far as straw goes this bit here if you come alongside here it will allow you to tip straw which will go in to there the purchase bit was round that's interesting oh there we go so if you want to buy sell or deliver by trailer you can do that here for your pigs you've got your manure pile and your slurry pit is kind of just here but like i say this is a kind of a, this is a modded one now if you wanted to start on farm manager and put them wherever you want um they are available in the mod hub now this map doesn't have the same rolling undulations as lapinki it does have some hills and bits and bobs but not the, as, as steep and rolling as lapinki does little pond here i have checked none of the water sources on the map will allow you to fill up the water trailer for the animals but having a look around the yard i haven't found a water source so you may have to put your own one in it's interesting you've got two main farms but no water source for your animals anyway that's the main farmyard what we will do is head through here we'll grab the new holland i think yeah So, moving away from here. Now, that was one of the things, like I say, these bales, these are a mod on the decorative things. That whole thing, you can place that kind of anywhere you want if you wanted to. You can't use them, but if you start on Farm Manager, they're not there either. This is just all, like I say, it's all just open. Open to the elements. Actually, I don't need that weight on. Let's drop that down. Now, we're going to go out to the main road and we're going to head left. So, we'll be going west. Then we're going to kind of do a route round that takes in the cell points just to give you a kind of feel there aren't a huge amount of cell points and the ones that are are, are all pretty much in the same place which is quite handy um so we're going to left onto the main road let's say heading directly west that's the cow pasture And looking around you, you still get that lapinky feel but it's not quite the same there are subtle differences anyway machine shop that farm there literally means farm machinery shop tractors uh we've got a i do like i've said this before i said on the pinky i like the fact you can kind of put them up and simulate repair work if you want to so this is your main store you've got your repair sell point customize point just there if you reset a vehicle it resets back to here should you get into a spot of bother at any point we'll continue heading west to the foresty bit like i say there are little ones dotted around all over the place and we're going to sort of see a few more of those in a minute but this is kind of your main forest out around the sawmill i do like when you've got a, the, the sawmill within a forested area because it does mean you can do forestry without having to transport too far but then i suppose if you do then use all that up there are other bits and there's that nice kind of mix between fully fledged pine trees and fir trees which are kind of intimates they're still sort of growing or 
there are different species of small mill. Right anyway, so sawmill. Now I haven't got enough money to actually buy the sawmill because I've started on a new farmer, so I've only got a hundred thousand. So I'm interested then that you might need to buy this to be able to use it. Got some lovely features. The the woodland looks denser, much bigger fir trees behind the, the uh, sawmill with a little bit of a nursery on the inside here. It's really well laid out, nicely done. So we've got a lumber cell point just there. And we've got our wood chip cell point, which is just where we came in. Right there. What we're going to do now is head back out from here. Actually, what I'm going to do, we're going to cut through the bit of woodland here. We're going to go cross country across the northern part of the map, heading east now, out towards the other cell points. This is not going to take a huge amount of time, it's not a massive map. Um, just wind between the trees onto a little track here just to give you a kind of feel of the landscape and the size of the fields and that kind of thing So we're coming across the top of the map now, the northern part of the map. Fields 9, 10, just to the left there. 25, 26 to the right. Windmill. Is that in the middle of that field? Well, not quite in the middle, but it is in the field. So not everyone likes that kind of thing, but I like the fact that you've, there are obstacles you have to work around. It's how the real world is, you know? Pass another little forest here. There's a nice little feature coming up. Got a fantastic Ford. Now I did try the water trailer in here as well, wouldn't work. Now according to the map this is brown, I guess it should be blue. Very picturesque. Lovely. Right. So onwards. round past another small forest or wood not a forest wood or a copse maybe and we're coming down to the kind of main cell point on the map um, it does have multiple cell points on it but it is really the main kind of cell point loads of people wandering still not working walking together Not particularly sociable in this neck of the woods so this is our kind of main cell point area we've got a lime purchase point which is just there as we come round we have got just here this is our grain elevator uh, let's go that way so we've got grain elevator east which is that one there we have got our dairy station which is just here milk bowl We've got a barn cell point just here, and we've got a spinnery just here. So all kind of right on top of each other, but that kind of makes life a bit easier sometimes. You haven't got to travel over both. It's not a massive map, so you've not got to have stuff all over the place. I do like this as well. This is a nice little, you know, the silos have been added in, and it's kind of, they've put the concrete pads down ready for new ones to be added. It's a small thing, but, you know, it adds to the whole feel of things. So we're going to head to secondary farm, then the biogas plant. Is that running anyone over? That would be wonderful. So just up here on the left. Now, I keep saying this is the secondary farm only because you, really, you start the other one. So, I mean, this could be your primary farm if you choose, to, choose it to be. So, this is your sheep enclosure. Feed trough just there. Buy, sell, load or unload point just there. Water trough just there. 
pallet spawn point just there. And then this side we've got our horses. Click on that. That's your buy point, unload point. Feed trough, water trough, and I think this bit round here is for the like the bedding on the floor. This little hazard mark bit here. But this is the secondary silo. Again, you've got your load into your trailer point there. But to unload into the silo, you do it here onto the tarps. That's to prevent it going getting contaminated on the ground and stuff, I guess. And then it gets shoveled into wherever it needs to be. Rather cool. These are all the um, machine sheds that are... Say machine sheds. Not all the doors open on them, actually. That are in the, uh, the store menu. And that's your secondary farmhouse, if I click on that. I'm not tired, but that's where we can do it. Very cool. So, from here, I think we can go at the back of the farm, I think. Yeah. So we're now going to head slightly north, into the kind of northeast corner-ish, not quite in the corner, to the biogas plant. Like I say, you do need to own this um, to be able to use it. And when you do use it, you'll get paid at midnight. We've got two fairly large bunker silos. Another nice little feature I haven't come across before is between the bunker silos, we've got some trees and stuff. Again, it's a small thing, but it you know it just adds a little bit to it. Um, digestate tank is up around the back, just over there. And then we've got the uh, same as on Lapinky. We've got the ramp up to the digester, which makes it easier for unloading by a trailer and that kind of thing. Very cool, very cool indeed. It's nicely laid out. It's another one that's got a very natural feel to it. Again, like I say on kind of most map tours, you can't please everybody. And um, when you do a review on a big open map, people go, oh, I don't like it, it's too big, too open, fields are too massive. Um, I prefer my map smaller. You do the smaller maps and people say, oh, I hate small maps. I want big open maps, you know. Everybody's opinion is different, and everybody likes different things about maps. So, you know, it, it's my opinion what I think about this. Um, not everyone feels the same way, and it's not going to be for everybody. That much, you know, kind of goes without saying. It's very nicely made and put together. It's got a really nice look to it. Very kind of picturesque. And I don't want to sound patronising, but quaint. It's got a real quaint feel to it. It's not massive, it's probably a nice kind of starter map. If you're into small farming, small machinery, and you want to build up a farm gradually, kind of like I'm doing on La Pinky, um, this is a really cool map for that. So, back along, this is kind of the main route that runs across the middle of the map, east-west. And there's the, uh, this is another one, those, it's a small little, got the bridge over the river, and the footbridge to the right, Very nice. Very nice indeed. So on our left coming up, we've got the last of our cell points. So it's not a massive map, not a huge amount to get round. We've got a secondary barn cell point just there. And then here we've got selling point selling station two. Open that up. There we go. That's just selling selling cell wing. Selling station. Yeah, like I say, it's a bit odd about the whole water thing. As I've said a few times on different first look map tours, you've got situations now where modders, map makers are putting silos and things that are decorative all over the maps. And the problem is when you drive around, there are so many of them, you think one of them could possibly be a water refill point, but you're never quite sure. Um, so we are over here now. We're at the barn and selling station two. There we go. So we've done a kind of loop round from the main farm past the store, sawmill, across the northern part of the map, down to the cell points here, up to the biogas plant, and then we come across. Now this road here goes all the way down and stops. You can't go across the, really across the bottom of the map unless you drive cross country, I guess. Um, field 88 is probably the biggest one on the map, apart from this grass field here, which is only 240,000. There's a lot of grass on that. So if you want to be doing grass work, yeah, no shortage of it. This is a very nice map. I'm liking it.
like I say, the one small detail is the water situation. I think it's the same on Lepinki, I'm pretty sure. But there are plenty of mods. That's a lovely touch in it. House being constructed. And then we come back into the main farm line again. Like I say, imagine this whole expanse here on farm manager with absolutely nothing there. None of those buildings are on it. None of the fences, nothing. It's just a big open blank canvas for doing whatever you want to do. Very, very cool. Right. I think, I think that's it. Again, like I always say, I've probably missed something. I often do. I'm trying to think of all the things. Discussed water, all the animal points. Like I say, I, I, I assume, and I'd hate to say that word, that's where your milk is. I can't find any milk churns anywhere. I think we've got a fuel tank actually through here too. Because you've got so many different buildings and cell points right on top of each other, I did try this with a water tank and it wouldn't do anything. So I think that's a fuel tank here. You've got a, hazard, a little hazard marked area just in front of it. Um, but there you go. Um, that's... I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. If you're Polish, I apologise. Starovites. I think it might be Starovites. I could be wrong. Probably am. Um, by Xylac04 and Venturio. Very cool. And I've said that a few times again. But anyway, um, I hope you found this quick quiz round... Uh, helpful in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching